Hi everyone, it's Miriam and welcome back to another video. So before we start, I quickly wanted to let you all know that my booklets, both 2018 and the second edition of my 2017 Inktober booklets, are now available for pre-order on my shop. I've also uploaded all the original Inktober drawings and all my drawings, including the ones that will be featured in this video, are also available as prints. There is a limited amount of booklets available, there are only going to be 150 of the 2018 Inktober booklets and 100 of the second edition of my 2017 booklet. All pre-orders for the 2018 booklet will also receive a postcard and a sticker, of which I haven't quite decided on the design yet. And I don't have a precise release date for the booklets yet, as I'm still working on finishing Inktober, but I'm hoping to get the booklet printed in November and then start sending everything out by the end of November, beginning of December. So bear that in mind if you decide to order one. At this point in time, I have three drawings left to do and I feel like I'm seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. I am really enjoying working with ink, especially because I feel like by the end of the month I started getting a bit better of a hang of the kind of look I wanted to get with my Inktober drawings. But um, I'm kind of longing to go back to painting and using gouache and watercolour now and I have ideas in my head that I really want to get onto painting and also I kind of... I'm not bored of it yet. I really do enjoy creating this concept every day, especially because being forced to have a drawing every day means that I, I'm not allowed to overthink, which is really quite refreshing and probably quite a good exercise for my brain. But I feel like the whole novelty of Inktober has kind of worn off now and people just want to move on. And so the fact that I'm still kind of hanging on feels a little bit awkward. But um, I'm getting there and I'm trying to not kind of rush the end of it, even though I do want to get those last drawings finished as quickly as possible so I can get the booklet on its way and everything. I do kind of, I don't want to um, just rush the last few drawings just to get it out of the way and I do want to be happy with the concept I can work with and stuff. So I'll, um, I'm planning on finishing them this week, but I'm not going to try and force myself to create anything that I'm not happy with. Because um, as much as I have to get it all done, you know, I don't want to put work out there that I'm just, that I feel, that I don't feel proud of. And I always find that being proud of something is different from being satisfied with it. A lot of the time I'm proud of the pieces I've done, but I'm not necessarily satisfied or happy with them. Because I find that I'm proud of having completed them, I'm proud of having tried them out and actually have achieved them and having put it, put an, an idea I had in my head in my head together but that's very different from me feeling like I did it justice or like I did it properly um, so in order for me to be proud I need to feel like I gave it a really good shot and like I gave it my best but in order for me to be happy and satisfied I'm not entirely sure that's actually possible, <laughs> to be fully honest with you. I don't think being an artist is about being satisfied. I don't think most people get keep going because they finally have found a stage at which they're satisfied. I think we keep going partly because we want to keep improving and we want to keep trying to reach for that stage, state of satisfaction when we absolutely know that it's not really a realistic goal in itself. <laughs> I know I said this last year, but I really think I might really do it this time around um, and that's um, I think a few of this concept I'd quite like to paint so I know I've talked about dust and the fact that I really want to draw that one anyway I want to paint that one anyway it was one of the concepts I had for a big painting and I thought I'd use Inktober to sketch it out but there are a few concept other concepts in this piece in this oh I'm losing my words it's I think I'm tired <laughs> Uh, after when I I'm kind of sleep deprived and exhaustion riddled because of um, a lot of work, I tend to start forgetting which language I'm speaking. So I don't revert to French, but I just get all meddled between English and what English is, and it's it's all quite funny. I find I find it quite entertaining when I listen back to myself. <laughs> Um, I can't tell you how many of those bits of voiceovers I've deleted just because I started saying ridiculous nonsense and couldn't actually get the hang of my sentence again. Like, I knew what I was to, wanted to say, but I didn't know how. Um, and here's a little bit of me eating an apple, because why not? 
But anyway, yes, I was saying that there are a few concepts that I would quite like to revisit and actually paint in colour, and I'm still thinking about doing that with some of my 2017 Inktober ones. The thing is, I just get too many ideas in one go, and then, and then I just want to move on to like the most recent idea I've had. But I do have a list in my head of all the pieces I'd like to revisit. I don't know if I'll ever get around to doing it, but you know, it's one of those things. It's nice to have that as a fallback on if I f f have a lack of inspiration at any point. <laughs> Um, I'd like to do some stickers from my work this year also. I, I've i been kind of thinking of doing some translucent stickers. So for example, the piece previously to this one, the one with uh, the character cutting the origami birds, I, I was thinking that it might be really cool if I isolated the birds and the character and deleted the background. So basically the background of the vinyl sticker would be translucent, but the character and the birds would be opaque. Um, I think that could, be, could look quite cool. Let me know in the comments if that's something you'd be interested in. But I'm thinking of doing a few stickers with my pieces from this year. Um, and just, I did only one last year with my Inktober from last year. I don't know if anyone would like another one from 2017. I haven't really thought about it yet, but I'd quite like to make a few more stickers than they usually have because they, they do tend to, people do tend to like, like them. And I do too. I just find them really nifty and it's quite weird to see your work in stickers in sticker form. They do take a bit of work and quite a bit of editing and stuff like that. So they do take me a little bit of time. And usually I have my patrons help me choose the designs that I'm going to put together. So they'll help me choose which sticker will be um, the part of the pre-order packages. Um, but I'll be trying and figure out other other designs for the stickers too. I'd like to have a little Inktober 2018 sticker series or something like that if anyone's interested. I don't know when I'll have the time to put that together, but at some point. <laughs> I was also thinking of um, maybe putting some of my work on Aperol. Uh, I know I have um, a Redbubble shop that I never really... Um, update because it takes quite a while to edit things for them to go on cushions and t-shirts and that kind of thing and I've never really offered t-shirts up because I never thought my work would work well on a t-shirt but I think it might be laziness it might be the fact that I would need to do a lot of editing for a lot of my drawings if I wanted them to go on t-shirts but I'm thinking of doing that more and more um, maybe kind of creating a little bit more merch some stuff that's a bit different from prints um, let me know in the comments if that's something that you'd be interested in, like seeing my Inktober work or my paintings in general, as shirts or notebooks or clocks or mugs, <laughs> that kind of thing, because I just found it could be quite cool to prepare them. So if there's any interest, I might actually spend the time doing that in the next few weeks. Sorry for not talking about the meaning of these pieces to me. Um, I talk a little bit more about it on Patreon and I talk a bit more about it on Instagram also, if any of you guys follow me on there. So you may have seen a little bit, some snippets about what I think the meaning behind my drawings for this video are. I needed the voiceover, voiceover to be quite relaxed just because I've got so much to do that I can really exert my brain too much. I am genuinely um, looking forward to having a holiday at Christmas because I think the time before Christmas is going to be rather busy still. But anyway, I think we're probably nearing the end of this video now. I hope you guys enjoy these three drawings. I'll have the last four in my next video that hopefully I'll be able to upload before this weekend. And then I'll have a Nicktober sketchbook tour up this weekend. And I might do a video once I receive the booklets so that you guys can see exactly how they look. And, um, and you can just have a virtual look at what they are. I thought that could be an interesting product preview. Let me know if that you'd be interested in that. And I can put something together. Don't forget to click the link in my description below to check out my store if you're interested in getting yourself a booklet of either 2018, 2017 or both. There's a listing uh, to slightly reduce price to get both booklets. I have a limited number of everything um, and I've already sold I think a third of the booklets I think in total so they are going quicker than I thought they were. I thought I was gonna it was gonna take a few days for me to get it started but apparently it's um I thank you so much to all of you that already got a booklet because I was really 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 touched by how, how enthusiastic everyone was about this year's booklet also even though I'm not even finished with it yet. <laughs> So anyway, I hope you guys are all really, really, really well. I hope that you're having a wonderful week. I hope it's as beautifully autumnal where you are as it is here or whatever season it is. Have a lovely, lovely, lovely day and I'll see you in a couple of days for the next Inktober video and also very soon for the sketchbook tour. Bye everyone.